Hello, hello. Top player commentating. Wow, that's OD. We're not live, are we? Sound testing. Enjoying your pizza? It's a good pizza. It seems like it. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? Nishima. They can hear me. I'm going to get off. Um. All good. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so I'm really excited to be comment doing commentary for Aeon today. Uh, I'm Duramgo, and uh, right just now we had uh, Venia and Jewel win game one of doubles. And I'm not really sure where this is at in bracket. This might be winners finals. What? Uh, it might be winners finals. I'm not entirely sure, but um, that was a very very convincing game one. Uh, coming from Venia and Jewel. And I really, really love what PK Chris was trying to go for there with the footstool a little bit earlier. But, um, you know, Greninja has such a phenomenal vertical recovery with the uppy that it was just, you know, able to get past the footstool. And because he also footstool that just about 0%. Um, now, PK Chris and Zero to None having the counter pick here, and they decided to go to Smashville. And this would be really, really helpful in dealing with a lot of Robin's projectiles because, um, you know, such a small stage, really easy just to get in, get up in her face. Um, but also an interesting choice because Zero Tsunan also plays Zelda. And I'm not really sure about the stages for Zelda, but um, I can't imagine Smashville being necessarily the best stage for her. But anyways, going into game two, uh, PK Chris and Zero Tsunan definitely have to be a little bit more patient uh, going into this. Um, and right now, just like Jewel is doing such a fantastic job of playing back and clearing the stage, resetting neutral for everybody, uh, using the, the final hit of the neutral beam. Um, wow, and really, really great stuff coming from Venia, using a down tilt and then just waiting for Zero to press a button, uh, and then able to punish that with his disjointed fairy so quickly. So really, really great situational awareness from Venia. And, you know, Jewel is just doing such a great job also just keeping everybody off. Um, and PK Chris now has a yo-yo on deck. Venia able to get the angle past it, maybe a little bit past the 1.5 seconds of charge time. Um, okay. Uh, not really entirely sure what happened, but Venia and Jewel are in the lead, a stock up. PK Chris getting a rocket off on uh, Venia. Um, and Ness is just such like a menace in doubles just because of his PK fire, you know, just able to be such a phenomenal interruption tool that could also be to the disadvantage of the team, but is able to just control the space so, so well. Um, wow, really great magnet drag down up air back throw. Uh, so now they can both of them focus on Venia. Really great PK thunder kill coming from PK Chris. Um, man, it's gonna be exhausting saying PK over and over again. Um, Well, and right now we just see like two separate little 1v1s happening. PK Chris was all up in uh, Jewel's face, and you know, and Venia was zero and vice versa, uh, trying to stay up in, in one another. And and this is exactly what I meant earlier with the PK fire working to the detriment of the team, with you know zero to not being able to recover and actually getting two framed by the PK fire. Really great aerial coming from PK Chris. That's not enough to take the stock though. And I love that parry. It was so good. And joining me on commentary. <laughs> I'm a second voice now. My name's Inverse. Um, so how are we doing with the stock count right now? It's almost just about even, Ooh. but, you know, Venia's at 116%. Yeah, he's not looking healthy at all. And he's off stage right now against Zero Zanon. Mm -hmm. That's not a good place to be, but he gets back. All right. A lot of fire going on right now. 
There's just so many things to keep track of at once. You have Greninja Shurikens, yeah. and you have all of Robin's projectiles, and yeah. you have Zelda setups. There's, there's nice. a lot of projectiles oh. that can come out during this match. Ooh, the dash attack. Definitely enough to take the stock. You know, Venya ready yeah. to take one of Jewel's stocks. He doesn't want to make this yeah. a 2v1 with, with, with a two-stock lead. That's just simply, you know, not a great choice. Yeah. Um, things are pretty even here. Mm -hmm. so. Ooh, oh my god, Jewel had one. a fantastic idea that yeah. might have even gone through air dodge, but neutral B came out and punished Jewel for it. But oh, I really yeah. love the commitment. <gasps> and that could have been the stock if Venu reacted a little bit sooner than that beat Chris just a second later. He would have been able to get the win box off. Um, so really great idea coming from Venia. Uh, and he got pineapple on Smashville at yeah. that angle. Ness cannot bounce and then do another PK Thunder immediately afterwards. Huh. So it's very, very unfortunate. Either the timing on it is just so tight. It's really, really unfortunate. Oh, and this is not the place Zero to None wants to be. Yep. These are two people mm -hmm. who are willing to keep you off stage, keep <gasps> you at the ledge. I love oh that. My, that Wait, was so oh, good. And he's back. That was so good. He did the soft down air into a hard. Was that a down air into a down air? Oh, dash attack. Oh, says the Thora back, but he reflects it. I really love the reflection. Oh, and the, and the L Thunder is still not, not enough, enough to take enough. the stock. He's holding um, on to this stock. Oh, throws the poke up, oh goes God. deep I with the love 11. That. He ran out of the Lemon Tomb! <laughs> oh, no. He ran out of the read. Oh, my God. He couldn't read anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So many things just Jewel happened. Jewel is upset. Tully so is looking things. at him disappointed. <laughs> So many things just <laughs> happened in that one exchange. I'm in literal disbelief. So, so did only the first part of the... So you're telling me, you're telling me. I saw the book come off, so... So, 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 he got, he ran out of charge after the first upbeat. He might have. That's what it looked charges. like to me. I'm not sure if it yep. works like that. Yep. No, 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 that's what happens. Because either you can up B and nothing comes out, you can up B and only one comes out. That's or you up B and two of them come out. So what that's happened right. was, Zero Tsunan got a down air into a down air on Venia, a soft down air into a hard down air, spiking him. Then he went back up with up B, got the beefy up B, knocked Jewel away, then survived three separate kill attempts, and then Jewel died to the SD from the book. Oh my god, I love video games. Anyhow. That was just a wacky set of circumstances at the end of that last game, but here we go into game number three. This is a two out of three set, so this will be the last game of the set. Oh, this is a two out of three? Yes, yeah, so all doubles is two out of three. Finals? Okay. Singles, oh, my goodness. Singles, we run three out of five for uh, winners, losers, and grand finals. Ooh, Fenya getting the full still there on Chris, it looked like. Ah, uh, Zero did not hitting the PK Chris with his up out. Yeah. Ooh. All right, and uh, right now Jules got zero to none here at the ledge. Yep. But he's able to get back. Jewel not putting on too much ledge pressure there. Ooh, the Phantom just saying, nobody's allowed to stand in front of me. Oh, and that could have been the stock for Jewel if PK Chris... I mean, uh, that could have been the stock for, uh, for Jewel, yep. If PK Chris had just gone off and yo-yo just a little bit sooner, Robin definitely has a super, super tough time getting off yo-yo. And Zero to not able to... living that even yeah. after bouncing. Ooh. And he's still going to live this one too. Yeah, oh, oh, doesn't get the angle, right? Unfortunate. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> I think he wanted to go a little bit lower so that way he could snap, probably. Or really like great that. absorption coming from Chris. That was super, super smart. And yeah. honestly, the Ness Robin matchup isn't nearly as good for Ness as people think it is. Because, well, just as many like oppressive aerials I mean, and specials that Robin has, she uh, Robin can easily whiff punish Ness for all of his absorbing them and magneting. Yeah. Um, and Robin's ledge trapping is just insane. Yeah. And he sees Yurtsun on trying to get some sort of a two frame off on Venya with his neutral B, and Venya mixing up the timing on it. Well, there goes the Thoron, almost getting both of them. Both of them mm -hmm. still live. Oh, wow. Ooh, and, and Venya, who went Venya? out there to edge guard, ended up getting killed. What did he get killed by? I, did, I missed that. Uh, and that forward was enough to take the stock from across the stage. Zelda's aerials are just so explosive. Yeah. Both forward and back hit are frame six. It's unbelievable. They're, they're very quick. They have a lot of damage output. They have a lot of knockback. Mm -hmm. What more could you ask for? And so I really, really love the play coming from Venio right now. He's basically giving Jewel all the space he needs to do some yeah. of that edge guarding. Ah, and PK Chris getting the Ooh, sour he... timing yeah. on the down air and then dying for it because he burned his double jump with the magnet. Yeah, it went a little too low, unfortunately. Um, you know, you see Chris getting really hungry with the down airs. Not really sure what he's trying to call out with those, but he's getting away with it pretty much. So uh, <laughs> kudos Ooh. to him. 
All right. Ooh, throws out the Thoron. Able to separate Chris from ZTN. Ooh, catches with the arc. Here, Venyan not able to... Um, he's starting to put on a little bit more damage off of that. And you see Jewel over committing to the edge guard, and as a result, he was able, he was uh, you know dropped by it because Chris just came in and back out him for it. Yeah. Um. But right now, Jewel, uh, not Jewel, uh, Zero to None and Chris are down a stock. Mm -hmm. They they gotta figure out something oh, like that like to that. get rid of the stock. Yep. They're still they're still a little bit in the, they're still in the hole. And these two characters are definitely prone to making insane, insane comebacks. Yes. Both of them have really, really fantastic early kill options. Both of them have a lot of sustain. Um, I really Ooh, like Venya the up air. And especially with things like Absorbs and Reflectors, you know, at any moment, they can just take the stock from either Jewel yeah. or Venya. And that's so they have to play the really careful and reserved. That's uh, what I love about Jewel's play. Just once he gets an item in his hand, you don't know where that item is yep. ending up. All right, they got both of them at the both ledge. Both of them at ledge. This, this is not definitely where they, they want to be. be. Ooh, Jewel going. I down really there. actually like the fact that he hit Zuritsu now with the neutral B. Ooh, is it oh, there? And oh, then that down air. Jewel just saying, all right, this game's over. I'm cleaning That's it. this up. That's it, bro. Shake GGs. my hand. Um, and that was going to be the sock. Man, that was.